we are on the Sacramento River fishing for king salmon. We get to fish for king salmon from August 1st to December 31st. We're lucky to have such a big time frame to catch these big king salmon. We get two runs. The fall run goes till about the end of October. Then the late fall run starts in November and goes to the end of December. Those are really good fish. Uh, we fished today from Balls Ferry down to Jelly's Ferry Bridge. Uh, we back trolled flatfish with sardine wraps. Um, Pretty decent day, caught some big fish, a lot of big fish this year. Um, not as many as some years, but they're big. Got a boy. Hey. A lot of pressure. Oh, I just saw him. Nice fish. Can you slide up just a little? Just a little. Nice, look at him run. Right. He's fresh. Right down to that sinker. Stay here. Right here. You want me to move? You got it? Right to the sinker and lift up, but I want him out. Out here. There we go. Straight. So lift up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in that net. Get in that net. Got him. Right. Woo! Pretty typical Sacramento River King Salmon for this year. We've been blessed with a bunch of big fish this year. This is pretty typical. Certainly a lot bigger ones, but this is a dandy. Glad to have it. I'm Mike Bogue, Mike Bogue's Guide Service. I'll show you quickly how I uh, wrap a T55 flatfish with a sardine wrap. Start off with a sardine, cut right here. Just get a nice fillet off that side. And what I'm gonna do is I trim this tail and then cut it up about halfway. The screw eye in the middle of the lure, split that bait right there in the middle. Take the miracle thread, and if you can find some at any store, please call me and send me it because it's really hard to find right now. But it's very important because as it stretches, it keeps that sardine in place where it doesn't move. Because what happens is it'll change if it moves, it changes the balance of the lure and it won't swim straight. And if it's not swimming straight, you're not fishing, so you're wasting a lot of time if that sardine moves. I think so. Just get it on there nice and snug. And it'll stay on, but I like to just half hitch it on just to be sure. Pull it tight and break it. There it is. I like fishing these flatfish because one thing I think is you get bigger fish, more aggressive, bigger fish bite them. And the bite's amazing. It's monster bites on these things. It's not a nibble or a grab or a hold. It's a monster bite. And I really like to feel that bite, and most clients do too. And and again, we catch seem to catch bigger fish, and we get to cover a lot of ground with these things in the holes where they're holding, and see how many we can make bite them. The reason that I put sardines on the belly of these lures is you have this lure swimming in the water in front of the salmon to irritate them, and the sardine smells like something they've been eating in the ocean their whole life. So it just, in, I think it helps. It definitely helps them strike it. So. To add to the sardine, I will take some fire gel and crawfishes I use a lot. There's a salmon flavor I use, there's sardine flavor, and you just mix it up. You never know which one's gonna work best any given day, but I'll take some of this, a decent amount, and put it right there and just kind of rub it in that sardine. So it's in there. Now you just added a little extra biting power to encourage those salmon to grab this lure. And there's a lot of days that makes a big difference, especially when the bite's tough. Here we go. Nice and smooth right there. Nice and smooth. Woo! Nice. 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 Thing, that thing came out right at the last second, too. Look at this. Right at the last second. Today's episode of Pots Guide Doors comes to you from a familiar place. We're back in Northern California on the beautiful Sacramento River. It's so beautiful that you can barely see the sky here today. It's a typical, you know, summer or fall up here in the greater Red Bluff and Redding area when unfortunately fires kind of settle into the region and the upper Sacramento Valley can be a little clogged with smoke. However, that also tells you it's salmon time in the Sacramento River. Now we went out today with a living legend and I mean, a guy that runs plugs as good as anybody in North America. This is Mike Bogue of Mike Bogue's Guide Service. He's been guiding almost as long as I've been alive. 
and that's not an exaggeration. The guy knows the river as well as anybody. He decided to start today in the world famous barge hole. We spent about a half hour there. As you could see, the sun was just coming up. We didn't get that many takers. There's a lot of pressure in the area. The bite, fish just weren't biting that well. And Mike said, let's go downstream. So we motored downstream. We went past some pretty impressive areas. You can see a large gravel bar here with dozens upon dozens of anglers that hang out and fish from the bank. Luckily, we were from a boat which put us right in prime position to get after some salmon. Now, Mike is a plug fisherman. Does he run bait? Sure, he does like everybody else, but if it's his choice, he's gonna fish plugs and he does it very, very well. Matter of fact, he's kind of one of the godfathers on the Sacramento River when it comes to running plugs. He does it very well. He's got them tuned in, he's got them dialed, and we sat there and watched him do it. Now, he takes fresh sardines. He actually gets one of his friends that gets them from a processor rather than just buying them from a store. He takes it very seriously. He cuts those sardines on the boat. He takes Atlas Mike's Miracle Thread, wraps them up, tunes that plug. And then on today, he used a lot of crawfish fire gel. A lot of people use crawfish scent in Northern California when it comes to running plugs. He put that fire gel right on the sardine wrap to add scent. Now, we also saw him use a little bit of sardine those are his two favorite scents when it comes to Sacramento River salmon fishing. Now you can see we caught some big fish here today and that's pretty common for this area, especially as you get into September and October when the fish just keep getting larger and larger. Now, get out there, run your plugs and you can have success just like we did. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.